right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gordon Guitar and to the song from Bastille called Shut Off the Lights. A cool, cool song from then. Very, very easy, only about two chords. And with these two chords, you can have a great effect with this melody and strumming. So let's start with this one. We need to set the capo on the third fret. And like I said, only two chord guys. So the first chord will be D. Okay, so that is open D, second G, third B, and second E. Easy. Next chord will be C. So third on A, second on D, open G, first B, and open E. Alright, so those are the chords we're gonna handle here, back and forth, D and C. So first we're gonna look at this melody and then we're gonna end this tutorial with the strumming pattern and that is actually the only thing you need for this song. So let's look at the melody here based on the D chord. So uh, it goes like this. Okay, and you're gonna play that for four rounds. So what we did there was open D string, second G string, third E, and second E. Open D, second G, third E, second E. So together with some speed, it sounds like this. All right. So you're gonna do that for four rounds, and for four rounds it will sound something like this. All right. Then we move to the C chord here, and we will do that in two different uh, parts. The first part will sound like this, and the next part will sound like this. Right, so in total of four rounds. So the first part for C is this one. Right. So what you do there? Third on A string. Open G. And open E. Only these three notes. So third on A, open G, open E. You play that for two rounds. So. Right? And for the next two rounds, you're going to play this part. And that is actually the same as the first part. The only thing here is that you're going to end with the third fret on the B string. So that means four notes. The first three notes are, notes are the first as the, the ones in the first part. So that means third on A, open G, open E, and this third B. You play that for two rounds. So in total here, this C part, C chord will be for four rounds. So that is the melody. So I'm gonna play that through for you a bit slower. So you can be able to follow with all these rounds. It will be eight rounds in total, D and C. So let's go. Is how the melody goes okay this is the first uh, thing or the technique you're gonna learn here for this tutorial the next one will be about the strumming so first we will look at the strumming pattern and then we will see how to add in this notes into the strumming so if we look at the D chord that is the first chord for the song so the strumming will be like this Okay, and slowly. So that means down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That is one round. Right? 
So you could play this song just without any notes or so. So if you do uh, do that, you need to play the strumming rounds as many as you play the melody rounds. So for D, that means four rounds of the strumming. And for C, four rounds. And that will cover uh, the part that uh, is uh, yeah with the melody, so it will be equal there. Same amount of rounds for strumming as uh, the melody rounds. So that is one way of playing it. The other round which I prefer here is to try to add in these notes into the strumming. And uh, yeah, it's not that hard actually. So you will just use the strumming pattern. So for the D part, this one. Okay, there you will play and try to, when you strum here, try to hit the notes from the chord into the strumming. So the first note here, the open D, you do on that, on the first down. And the second note, which will be the second fret G string, on the second down in the strumming. And then the this part, you will do that on the up and so the first two downs and ups in the strumming pattern will be played on the melody notes there. So, and then you just continue with a down up from the chord. And that will be one strumming pattern. So that means the strumming here is, consists of six downs up in some order here. And the notes are only four. So the first four notes there, or the first notes, uh, you will hit them on the first four down-ups from the strumming pattern, if that makes sense. All right. So slowly, it could be something like this. Or so. Yep. Uh, of course, you will not hit uh, every note perfect here, since you're strumming, and it's hard to only strum on one string like that. But uh, if you continue with this, you will um, be better at it and you will certainly hear the notes here and there. So that will make uh, a good effect on this song here. So that's the D part. When we choose to play the C part in this, with this technique of strumming and try to hit the notes, uh, you will have the first C part was about these notes. So that means when you strum, you're gonna hit these three notes with the first three down ups from the strumming. So that means first note on down, the second note here on open G, also down, and the open E on the up. So, and then you just continue with the up, down, up from the strumming in the chord. And the second part of the C was about four notes. That means you hit the four notes with the first four down ups from the strumming and you continue with the down up from the strumming pattern. So I hope that makes sense. Pretty easy. Um, basically, you just hit the notes from the first down ups from the strumming pattern. And that makes up for this great song from Bastille, Shut Off the Lights. So I can just mention this one goes a little bit back and forth with melody or with the strumming pattern. But like a rule for this song here, um, the melody is played more in the verse and the strumming with the notes or without is played more in the pre-chorus and chorus. But it's up to you to choose where to play what. So that pretty much covers this song. Shut off the lights. Hope this was helpful for you guys. That's my mission to educate you and see you soon guys. And don't forget, play tuned.